Welcome to Michigan Reimagined, presented by T.A. Forsberg and Wagoner Financial. And here's your host, Chris Buck. So entrepreneurship is a difficult path, but there are fantastic resources to help the process. Start Garden helps startups through its pitch competitions and co-working spaces located in the, down, uh, d- the heart of downtown Grand Rapids. Here to share the story of Start Garden and their upcoming installment of the 100 pitch competition is their director of community relations, Lori Sapinski. Welcome to the show, Lori. Hey, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. I've been a fan of Start Garden, even though I, I, I've only been kind of around the periphery of it. But I'll tell you what, entrepreneurship and small business startups is something my brain almost can't comprehend from a from a commitment standpoint and to know that there are resources like start garden to help fan the flames give you know assistance to funding opportunities things of that nature i'm really grateful that you are all doing what you're doing i'd like to just start by saying that oh well great yeah (laughs) i mean we're we're pretty passionate about what we do too obviously well when and how was start garden formed you know and and what exactly is your core mission um, Start Garden actually was formed in 2012. Um, it was formed by Rick DeVos and a team mm. of people um, really looking to see, you know, where, where were the entrepreneurs in the community and how could, um, how could Start Garden find them and then maybe help them get a little bit of runway with, um, with their business idea. So really, you know, started back then, and um, Five by Five Night, which is one of the programs that we still run to this day, was kind of the format that was used. Um, and uh, I mean, I can I can talk a little bit more about that. But um, as you know, as an organization, we've we've morphed over the years. Um, back then, it was Five by Five Night, definitely looking at uh, high tech, high growth companies. Um, we pivoted a little bit in that we now really are trying to serve um, entrepreneurs across all industry spectrums, um, and so it's it's opened up uh, you know a lot of different windows for different entrepreneurs to access uh, the resources of Start Garden. That's great, and I was wondering whether it was uh, whether there was a certain vertical or a certain startup type. You know, there's a lot of conversation about medical technology and and financial technology, but it sounds like. You'll do a restaurant and a marketing firm and a locally owned uh, construction company or whatever, right? So it, it is kind of agnostic from an industry standpoint? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, you know, in the beginning, um, there was a venture capital arm to Start Garden. And so clearly looking to foster um, companies that were going to, uh, you know, to grow and probably exit at some point. So that tended to be, like you said, in the tech space. Um, or the the medical technology space. But um, in 2016, uh, the organization split the venture capital piece off, and um, we became a 501c3. Um, And then, again, looking at, you know, supporting entrepreneurs across all verticals. So definitely still looking and and working with tech companies. Um, But like you said, uh, restaurants, uh, retail, social impact, products, you know, where, wherever you are, whatever your your great idea is, whatever problem you want to solve, um, we want to help um, you, you know, take those first steps. That's great. And so what um, talked, I, I mentioned in the intro that you have a shared working space, and, and I know we're going to spend some time talking about your mm-hmm. upcoming pitch competition, but talk about how you engage uh, these folks that are in the community. How do they get to know what type of services you offer and, and, and how does first contact tend to work? And and what services do you offer? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, I'll just say that overarching our mission as an organization is um, we, we seriously, in our mission statement, say that we want to help entrepreneurs get to their first million. Um, and we do that by our leadership team, which is very diverse, and we, we bring a lot of um, different networks and experience to the table. Um, we share our networks. So we, we truly believe that um, having access to people and organizations and resources is really important. So we freely share those networks to entrepreneurs. Um, we provide financial capital. So in the form of some of our pitch competitions, we, we, we say this jokingly, but not really. We, we act like your, you know, your friends and family money, your, <laughs> your rich uncle who can say to you, here's a $5,000 check to play with this idea that you've had and, uh, 
and not have to dig into your savings account or mortgage your house. Here, you know, we're gonna we're gonna play that role for you right here at the beginning. And then space. Um, yep. We do have the incubation space, so we have very you know low cost um, month to month opportunities for people to work out of our space and have you know the business amenities, conference rooms, co working, um, and in this space we also do a lot of networking events and things that are um, usually you know, free of charge for entrepreneurs and for anybody in the community who wants to come in and be part of that entrepreneurial ecosystem. So where is your space actually located? I'm not familiar with it, but I'm really hopeful to get there soon. Yeah, so we're located on, uh, the address is 40 Pearl. So okay. we're on the corner of Pearl and Ottawa. So it's a great space right downtown. We're up on the second floor. We occupy 16,000 square feet. Um, we've got a nice event space, which is where we do our five-by-five night competitions and a lot of our events. Um, and then we have various size conference rooms and, and co-working. So we're, we're right in the heart of downtown, walkable to, to everything. So it's, it's really a very central and great location. And I will say our space is gorgeous. It's, <laughs> it's just, yeah. Great. My follow-up follow was going to be to talk a little bit about that. If I were to walk through there on a random Wednesday at 10 a.m., what would I be greeted with? What would I see? Um, how is the space kind of set up? So the building, it's the trust building. And um, so it's older. I couldn't tell you when it was built, but okay. it's, it really architecturally, it's very sort of iconic. It's got beautiful arched windows. It's We've got the original marble floors. Um, so it's it's got a lot of really interesting old architecture, but then um, you know we kind of when when Star Garden moved in here, we it was a law firm prior to that, so we blew out the walls and um, opened it up, and so even on a cloudy, snowy day, it's it's really light in here because of the big arched windows. But we've got co working space, we've got um, smaller team spaces, we call them the pods. Um, so if you're a team, an entrepreneur with you know a team of up to like six to eight people. You can have a pod space as opposed to an open, uh, an open space, and then we've got um, conference rooms. But you're you're greeted right at the door by um, our uh, space coordinator Tamu, um, and then uh, you know depending upon what you're here for, if you're here to work, you go you know find your spot. Um, if you're here for an event, typically it's the cafe area that's been activated. Um, and, you know, there's usually a lot a lot going on in here, so it's it's fun. And the whole idea of having a space like this is so that you can bump into people, right. you know? And uh, we truly believe that, you know, that whole networking piece is, is really, really important. Now, do you encourage people to show up and maybe engage and touch down, or is it more of a vetting process? We have room for 10 startups at a time and you're on kind of the next queue of the waiting list and someone leaves the nest and now there's a space for the next team to come in. Yeah. I'm, I mean, it's, it, we have a certain amount, we have a finite amount of team space. So, it, you know, there are times like right now, all of the pod and team space is full. So we, we would have a waiting list for that. But if you're just an individual entrepreneur, or even if you're a team, but you don't need you know, a designated team space, you're willing to work, you know, in the co-working space and, and sit down kind of anywhere, um, then then we encourage that. And we have plenty of room for people to do that. And we've, we've noticed, and I think this is true in society in general, um, since uh, the pandemic, there's different, you know, different patterns of people working, whether it's remotely working a little bit at home. So, um, yeah, it's kind of, come and go. Some days are busier than others, but um, there's always people in here that are, you know, fun to talk to. Makes sense. <clears throat> and all of this stems around, you know, uh, making good financial decisions. So I want to give a plug to my friends at Wagoner Financial. Are you ready to start making financial decisions? Uh, Wagoner Financial offers a proven process for financial transformation, empowering individuals at all stages, whether you're just starting out, nearing retirement, or anywhere in between. Stop feeling unsure about your financial path. Wagoner Financial can help you undergo a financial transformation. Schedule a consultation today to discuss your individual needs and discover how Wagoner Financial can guide you through uh, by visiting wagoner-financial.com or you can call them at 517-853-3367. You will not be disappointed. So talking about financials and numbers and money, um, talk about your, uh, I think it's the sixth annual open pitch competition called the 100. Is that correct? Is this the sixth iteration of that? Yes. 
um, we we started the 100 in 2018. Okay. Um, and so, yeah, we're this would be our sixth year. Uh, we took actually, you know, we we didn't do it during COVID. We kind of pivoted. We did something a little bit different because okay. we couldn't do sort of an in person pitch event. But um, but uh, yeah, we um, how this works is uh, the entree, the enter, you know, to enter the competition. All you have to do is submit a hundred second video of your idea. <laughs> So you can upload a video from your phone, um, 100 seconds. It, it seems like, sh- you know, a short amount, but it gives us enough about you and your idea that we, you know, can say, hey, that's pretty cool. Let's let's see what they can do with that. Um, and so we take all those submissions. There's like a two-month period of time when people can submit. Okay. We, we then, uh, we literally, our team looks through all the videos, um, and we select 100 people. Those hundred people were just announced um, on July fifteenth, and each one of them gets a thousand dollars. The idea of the thousand dollars is to use it to maybe you know prepare yourself for the bigger event, which is called Demo Day, which will be held on uh, September eighteenth. And so for this two month time frame, um, the entrepreneurs all will be you know working towards that Demo Day event where they will showcase their business idea. Uh, to ourselves, our judges, and then it's open to the public that wow. day. Wow. And where is that held? That's held at Calder Plaza, which is right here downtown, a couple blocks from uh, from our office. It's an outdoor venue, so it's uh, the second year we've actually moved to doing it outdoors. Um, we outgrew the indoor space that we were in. Um, and so it, it happens during uh, Grand Rapids Tech Week, which is going on um, right. at, the same, at the same time. But um, so the entrepreneurs will come have the opportunity to showcase their business. But the the grand prize is um, that there's 10 winners um, that evening of $20,000 grants each. Wow. So 10 10 entrepreneurs will will walk away with $20,000 each. We've also partnered with um, Northern Initiatives, which is a CDFI lending organization. Um, and by ver- virtue of the fact that the 10 people are winning the $20,000, they also, through Northern Initiatives, have access to up to a $20,000 loan. So if the entrepreneurs choose to take any or all of the loan money, they could actually be walking away with $40,000 to put towards their business. Wow. And does that give them any kind of <clears throat> space or any other technical assistance or uh, that kind yes. of fringe benefits? Yes. So um, all of the 10 get get a membership to Start Garden. Um, and then what we do with each one of them is we bring them in separately. Um, we do, you know, our director team, there's four of us who are co-directors here. Um, we kind of sit down and we do like a deep dive, like a SWOT analysis into their business um, and, and kind of, you know, get frame it up like, where did you start? You know, how did this whole idea start? How did this whole business idea start? Um, Where are you now? And then where do you want to be three to five years from now? And how can we help you take the 40,000 up to, you know, potentially 40,000 and or more um, and, and get you to where you want to be. So um, kind of accessing, um, you know, the capital that they get and then also just kind of helping them plan what that trajectory could look like and utilizing ourselves as resources, our space, and then our connections to um, all the other resources in the community. And that really shouldn't be taken lightly. I'll tell you that in kind uh, support and professional peer to peer or senior to to subordinate uh, mentoring and and, uh, professional services is gold. As much as the cash is cash can be frivolously spent, but um, there's nothing to be, you know, nothing that trumps, real, honest engagement and, and assistance to help people through some of the technical challenges of, of starting a business. Absolutely. And and we really believe that, you know, it's it, it, it's sad to say, but it kind of is who you know and yeah. how do you yep. get to access people and resources and things like that. And so, um, you know, we do try really hard to make sure that everyone, every entrepreneur that we serve um, has the same shot at accessing resources, capital, networks, um, as, as anyone. Um, and we also tell the participants, you know, 90 people walk away from that event not having won the $20,000. But yep. um, we like to say that, you know, first of all, the network um, of people that you've met through the process, 
is amazing. Um, number two, you've been at an event where, you know, 2,000 people from the general public have walked through and essentially had the opportunity to um, be introduced to your business. Yep. So that's, you know, that's uh, something that you don't get by not participating. Um, and so there's a lot of really great benefits. And then just the connection to Start Garden. I mean, we, right. you know, we don't just, you know, if you don't win the competition, we don't say, okay, see you, see you later. Um, we we want to continue to keep providing access to resources. And so there is sort of, you know, this alumni group um, that, you know, we like to like to have, you know, keep circling through, circling through that competition or five by five night or just having access to our space. Um, so, yeah, we do start to really form relationships with people that last, you know, years and years. That's great. And those folks that don't win the grand prize already got a thousand bucks too. Correct. And, and Correct. There's, yeah. And there's all kinds of experience to, to making the video to get qualified. They may, they get there and then they get to pitch their whole thing too. So there's no substitute for practicing your pitch because there are other pitches out there. There are other places that you can get money that'll help them write a grant or, you know, apply for some other uh, financial assistance somewhere else. And the work that they'll do for you, even if they don't win the grand prize, is valuable without question. Absolutely. And I mean, we do survey the participants every year and year after year, people, you know, you'd be surprised. The money is usually not the number one thing that people say was the, the best part about participating. Usually it's the opportunity to intensely focus on their business because they're in the competition, but it forces them to really think about their business. Um, and then the networking, um, getting yeah. to meet other entrepreneurs and bounce things off of people um, is priceless. And, you know, we, we provide in the months that they're getting ready to prepare for demo day, we, we have, you know, uh, different opportunities for people to connect. We did a boot camp um, two weekends ago for people to come in and, uh, go through. We do make people uh, submit an executive summary. So um, we did a boot camp so people could understand, like, what are we, what are we looking for in the questions that we're asking in this executive summary? What should you be focusing on? Um, and those, you know, those opportunities to get insight and to really get feedback on your idea. Um, how does it make money? Who are your customers? You know, all of those things, which uh, you may or may not have thought through completely. Understood. No question. No question. So um, I'd like to pause and thank one of our other sponsors at Good Marketing. Here at Michigan Reimagined, we tell stories of passionate Michiganders doing great things across the state. Today's podcast sponsor takes the art of positive storytelling to a whole new level. The good people at Good Marketing work with organizations across the state that are having positive impacts on the lives of Michigan residents. They help educate communities on the importance of affordable housing, the impact of wildlife and natural resource management, the availability of workforce development and education programs. If it lifts people up and makes the community stronger, then they want to help you spread the word. If your organization needs help by communicating the good work that you do, stop by their website at goodmarketing.com. That's G-U-D marketing.com. So tell me about your partners. Who helps fan the flames of your success? Because it usually takes many hands to make this all happen. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we have um, we have great community partners in that we have other organizations um, who provide resources and, and support to entrepreneurs. Um, and so they're actually called ESOs, Entre Entrepreneurial Support Organizations. Um, we convene um, that group uh, monthly, and we all try to, you know, work together, share, you know, what we're, what we're currently doing as far as workshops or events or, or things that can help entrepreneurs. Um, and so we do try really hard to collaborate and make sure that, you know, all of the entrepreneurs that we're working with are aware of what all the other things um, that are going on in the community. But we do, you know, because we're a nonprofit organization, we obviously have uh, partners in, in the form of funders. Um, and yep. so we're, we're really, really fortunate to have, um, some great funders in, you know, the Kellogg Foundation, the Weggy Foundation. We have uh, a grant through MEDC, the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. We have a grant through the Minority Business Development Agency, a federal grant. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm probably missing some other corporate sponsors. We have um, Huntington Bank. We have PNC. 
We have DTE Energy. Um, so, yeah, we're, we're, you know, just grateful that people recognize the work that we're doing and, and obviously, uh, you know, want to help see the business community flourish in our community. Makes sense. And I bet you <clears throat> your partners are found uh, on your website. Why don't we share yeah. uh, how people can yeah. stay in touch with Start Garden? And what's your website, social media handles, that kind of stuff? Yeah, so startgarden.com is, um, is our website. Um, and then we do have two other websites that you can access through our, our main website, um, Five by Five Night, which we haven't talked about that much, but it is a monthly pitch competition that we do. Um, that is five by five night.com. So five X five night.com. Um, and that is a place where you can submit a business idea. And if you're selected, you come in and pitch, um, at a monthly event where the winner gets $5,000. Um, and then we do have the Start Garden 100 website is 100.startgarden.com. Um, and so those are, you know, those are our main websites. Um, social media channels, we're, you know, you can follow us on LinkedIn, you can follow us on Facebook, you can follow us on Instagram. And um, you're, you're going to, I can't believe I didn't bring my sheet in here with our <laughs> handles, our social media handles. But if you, Start if you look us up on any of those platforms, uh, we will come up under Start Garden, that's for sure. That's fantastic. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think we're, you know, if you if you Google us, you can find us hopefully. Um, but there's there's a lot of ways to um, to engage. Wonderful. Excellent. Well, I, I really appreciate you joining us here today and, and uh, telling the story of Start Garden. Like I said, I promise I want to get out there and walk the halls and and maybe even attend your demo day, which is happening. And remind us of the date again. Sure. It's September 18th, um, open to the public at 5 p.m. Um, and it is the energy is unbelievable. It is it is one of the best events. I mean, it, it's it's so exciting. It's so much fun. Wonderful. I we, encourage everybody to attend. That's great. Well, we've been talking to the community director of community relations, Lori Sapinski from Start Garden. I really appreciate you joining me here today. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. And I'd like to give a final shout out to all the loyal sponsors, Forsberg Real Estate Company, Wagner Financial, Triterra Environmental, Good Marketing, the attorneys at Foster Swift, Keller Williams Advantage and Team, and Michigan Rise, brought to you by Michigan State University's Research Fund. They're great people who are worth the call if you have the need. And if you found the show as a one-off, I want to remind you to follow and subscribe to Michigan Reimagined on YouTube, Facebook, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and pretty much anywhere you find your podcasts. This is Chris Buck. Thanks for listening to Michigan Reimagined.